Welcome students! This video will assist you with finding your plan in DegreeWorks and scheduling your classes in BannerWeb. A few tips before we begin. We recommend you use a laptop or desktop computer when registering for classes. Mobile devices, such as your phone or tablet, may provide you with less functionality and the instructions in this presentation may be a little different. We also recommend that you use either Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome as your browser. If you are using a phone or tablet to register, you may want to download one of those two apps to use. Typically, Google Chrome will work pretty well when using a phone or tablet, and same for a laptop or desk desktop. To log into DegreeWorks, go to the main college website. At the top right, you're going to click on My NCCC and select DegreeWorks. Once on the DegreeWorks page, you're going to select DegreeWorks Login. Use your T-Wolves username and password to log in. If it asks you to confirm which campus, you're going to select Niagara. Once you have logged into DegreeWorks, you will want to locate your plan by clicking on the Plans link located at the top of the page. Your educational plan includes recommendations from your advisor regarding what courses you should take for the next semester, and it also should include your registration alternative PIN or RAP number. Keep note of this wrap number by either writing it down or leaving your plan open in a separate tab. Your advisor may recommend elective options on your plan. This means that you have options as to what courses you can take within an elective area. For example, if your advisor lists that you can take a mathematics gen ed course, you will see the two at symbols with the word math listed. This will mean that you have options as to which math course you can take as long as they are under the mathematics general education required courses and you are mindful of any prerequisites that may be required for that course. Next, we're going to log into BannerWeb and register for classes. On the NCCC homepage, click on My NCCC, then choose BannerWeb from the dropdown. To log in, use your T-Wolves username and password, then click Sign In. If you have forgotten your password, you can contact the Office of Information Technology at 716-210-2505 for assistance. On the main menu, choose Registration. On the Registration menu, choose Register for Classes. Select the appropriate term from the drop-down list. Next, you will see the Financial Obligation Agreement. Students must agree to proceed with registration. In this agreement, you agree to pay for the courses that you're currently enrolling in, you understand how you're going to be billed, that we communicate with you via T-Wolf's email, and that is how you will receive updates on your bill and regarding the withdrawal policy. You'll click on the checkbox to agree and then click continue to take you to registration. To start building your schedule, click on Register for Classes. You will be asked again to select the semester you're registering for. This is also where you will enter your RAF number and click Continue. One item to note is that you will not need to enter your RAF number again 24 hours after you have registered for classes. This area may still appear, however, 
you can just click continue without typing in your RAP number and it should allow you to proceed. If you see an alert when attempting to register, this could be due to holds on your account that prohibit registration. You will need to clear all holds before you can register for classes. One of the most common holds is going to be either the immunization or a health clinic hold. You can contact the Wellness Center at 716-614-6275 regarding this hold or email jaeger at niagaracc.suny.edu. You can click on the registration link at the top of the page and then click on prepare to registration to view what holds may be on your account. If you do not have holds on your account, you will proceed to this page. On the Find Classes tab, you can search for a class. In this case, we searched for accounting courses and received these results. You may have to scroll down to view all of your results or switch pages depending on how fine-tuned your search request has been. Taking a look at the different courses listed, you'll see in the middle that the days of the week and the time the course is offered will be noted. So we can see that the first course that the arrow is pointing to is Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. and that all of the seats are open for that class. If you look at the class above that, there are no days of the week that are selected in blue. More than likely this means this is a web-only course, and you can see by the course description that this is indeed a web-only course. There will be certain occasions where a certain class will conflict with other courses that you may have already registered for. In this case, the middle arrow pointing up shows a time conflict alert. It lets you know that you cannot register for this class because you have already registered for a class at that same time. Once you find the class that you want to register for, you're going to click on the Add button on the far right. This will add the class to your summary as pending. However, you are not yet registered for this course until you click the Submit button at the bottom right and the courses change from pending to registered. If your instructor has given you CRN numbers or course reference numbers, you can go ahead and add them in the Enter CRNs tab. Simply type in the CRN and click Add to Summary. If you have more than one CRN to add, click on the Add Another CRN link to have additional boxes appear. The course or courses will be added to your summary as pending. You must click Submit at the bottom right to register for the course. You will know that you are registered when the pending status changes to registered. Here you will see the summary section. This is what it will look like when you add a course and it is still pending. The circled area shows the course as pending and is grayed out. This means that you still need to click submit in order to register. Once you've registered for a course, it'll look like that arrow on the right that's pointing to the green registered alert. This means that you are actually registered for a course when it looks like this. This tab is the plans tab and it will display your active plan from DegreeWorks. Here you will see the courses that were listed by your advisor on your plan. You can also click on the notes icon to see your wrap number or other notes from your advisor at the top right. If there are other notes within the plan from your advisor, you will see a little post-it note. For instance, if there's a note on a specific course, you will see the note on that specific course line. It looks like a little post-it note with a green check mark. You can then click on View Sections next to each of those courses to select specific sections from each of the course in your plan that you want to register for. So in summary, there are three different ways you can search for and add courses to your summary. But always remember to click Submit when you have selected courses to ensure that you are registered for the classes. Once you've registered for your entire schedule, 
The fourth tab is where you can view or print your class schedule. Some features available for students include the email schedule and downloadable calendar file button on the far right. It looks like a calendar popping out of an envelope. This button will let you email a version of your schedule to your email address. You can also elect to send it to a personal email account or if you have a parent, spouse, family member, or boss that needs a copy of your schedule, you can include emails here and click send. You also have the ability to change the subject as well if you wanted to. The email will include an iCalendar file that you can use to save your schedule to your phone or other device or calendar you use. It will block out the days and times in your calendar for when you have class. One item to note is that your online classes don't have a specific time, so those classes will not have time blocked out. On the far right, you will also see a printer icon, and you can click there to print your schedule or to save it as a PDF file. You can do this by changing your printer to Adobe PDF and then saving it. At the bottom, you will see a sample of what your schedule will look like. It actually spells out the days of the week, so you have the full word for each day versus when we used to use the MWF initials or TR initials to indicate the days of the week. And below, there is a colored calendar view as well. If you receive any error messages while registering, like the common error messages about prerequisite or co-requisite requirements, you may need to contact your advisor for assistance with this. There may be additional paperwork that needs to be submitted on your behalf to resolve the error. If you need assistance navigating DegreeWorks or Banner, have advisement, major, career, or transfer questions, you'll want to contact the Student Success Center to speak with one of the success coaches. Their phone number and email is listed here. If you are having technical issues with registration, like time ticket issues or error messages about acceptance or readmission, you'll want to contact the Enrollment Center. And their phone number and email is also listed here. We hope you have a great semester at NCCC. Thanks for watching.